Okay, so um, if you use the flange tool here. This tool here? Yep. Okay, so it tells you to select a plan your face. So, uh, yep, there. And now, uh, once you select that, select the edge. And then you'll select two more places, a start and a finish. So, just kind of, there you go, perfect. And then you get this 90 degree uh, flange, and you have to hit finish for it to complete. Okay, that's okay. pretty cute. Yeah, that's a, so that's it adds a, this little cool. adds this little addition to it, huh? Yeah, exactly. Um, so do something similar on the other end. Okay. And yeah. maybe one at the top. All right. So let's do a flange again. So we'll that face, that edge, mm -hmm. one there and one there. Yeah, now at this point, you can actually uh, go into the start flange and end flange positions. Those uh, last two fields there, yeah, and uh, and you know, be precise. Uh, I see. And then once you, uh, and then you can hit finish. So three and three. I'm not quite sure what happened there. One and one. Uh, what is the difference there? So if that's. Um, well, keep in mind that that you define the points at those start and end flange positions. Uh, uh, start and end at on those second two clicks. So you essentially do four clicks. You do the the face, the edge, and then the start and the end uh, positions. Okay. Now maybe if I come in and put a zero in there. Yeah. And then finish. Then it yep. Okay, and that should be flush now. So so there's a. Uh, uh, a really nice amount of control that you have on that tool. So, and, and is it in the part tree? Uh, it absolutely is in the part tree. And select each of those flanges. Okay, so Double you track. can see which is highlighted. Exactly. Okay. Okay. But, uh, so uh, then, how does the um, this these things work? Yeah. So the unbent uh, tool. That one. That one. Okay. So then. There you go. And then uh, click finish. Okay, and it actually creates a separate object. So uh, F7, got it, and then move it to the side, and there you go. That's pretty cute. Isn't that nice?